Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is, we have started with research proposal and research report of paper research methodology. Now let's start with the subtopic references and bibliography. What is reference? A references page is the last page of an essay or research paper that's been written in APA style in general. It lists all the sources you have used in your project so readers can easily find what you have cited. Obviously, when we do the research literature, what we do? We do see so many articles or researches done by other researchers. Now, references can be described as giving credit with citation to the source of information used in one's work. Research is a built up on what other people have previously done. Thus, referencing helps to relate your own work to previous work. So, it, uh, this reference giving will help the other people also from where you have uh, searched the sources so that they can also search those things related to their topic. Now references are a way to provide evidence to support the assertions and claims in your own assignments. Now whatever references you are giving it provides the evidence. Why? To support the assertions, whatever assertions or assumptions you have done related to the topic, it claims in your own assignments. References are also a way to give credit to the writers from whom you have borrowed words and ideas. That is authentic. References should also always be accurate, allowing your readers to trace the sources of information you have used. The best way to make sure your, you, your reference accurately is to keep a record of all the sources you used when reading and researching for an assignment. Now what is the importance of this re references? Referencing is important for a number of reasons some of which include it allows for acknowledgement of the use of other people's opinions, ideas, theories and inventions because it uh, allows them to show that what findings they have got in their re review of literature, what, what are the opinions, what are the findings, ideas, theories and all these things you can understand through giving these references. Helps readers understand what influenced the writer's thinking and how their ideas were formulated. Now it helps the readers evaluate the extent of the writer's reading. It enables readers to visit source materials for themselves and verify the information. Now what kind of information do I need to reference now? Printed books are not the only source that require acknowledgement. Any words, ideas or information taken from any source requires a reference. Now reference when you are using words or ideas from books and journals, art, journal articles, newspapers and magazines, pamphlets or brochures, films, documentaries, television programs or advertisements, websites or electric, electronic resources. Letters, emails, online discussion forums, personal interviews, lectures or tutors, not always necessary but check with your lecturer or tutor about their references before you draw on their ideas. You also need to reference when you reprint any diagrams, illustrations, charts or pictures. You will show that from these references we, you got all these information. No need to reference when you are writing your own observations or experiment results. For example, a report on a field trip. No need of the reference here. Writing about your own experiences, for example, a reflective journal. For example, in B.Ed. students, what do they do? They write their reflective journal, what uh, reflections they want to write related to their practice sheet teaching or theoretical work, micro teaching, macro teaching, whatever. 
they want to write here they need not write any reference here writing your own thoughts comments or conclusions in an assignment obviously no need evaluating or offering your own analysis using common knowledge that is facts that can be found in numerous places and are likely to be known by a lot of people or folklore now using generally accepted facts or information this will vary in different disciplines of study obviously different disciplines will have different type of study here if in doubt ask your tutor or your mentor now what are the different different uh, styles here reference styles are standardized rules for presenting information about the sources used in a text typically a style will describe how to organize information about authors publication year title and page numbers so systematically we have to put the reference there are many different ways to organize the references of a text some reference styles follow the author year format while others are based on footnotes and or numerical references some of the most commonly used reference styles in academic writing are number 1 american psychological association that is apa 6 generally we use this uh, type of reference here first we will write the author in brackets we will write the year commonly used in psychology what the topic economics educational sciences and health sciences uh, we can see the free grade also from purdue or university the chicago styles see the free guide at uh, purdue university or the licensed quick guide also chicago 16a footnote system chicago 16b author year commonly used in the humanities now howard author year a general reference system used in many disciplines and used here at uh, uh, c for example quote unquote modern language association author page number widely used in linguistic and literature here now vancouver numbered system commonly used in medicine health sciences and natural sciences now i triple e that is institute of elect Uh, electrical and electronics engineers used in uh, example engineering and computer science here citation compass different academic journals use different reference styles now what is bibliography a bibliography is a list of all the all of the sources researcher have used whether referenced or not in the process of researching research work in references we said that we have used the ideas or the findings things here bibliography no need of that both everything can be written over here in general a bibliography should include the author's name the titles of the works the names and locations of the companies that published your copies of the sources the dates your copies were published the page numbers of your sources if they are a part of multi source volumes now what are the types of bibliographies there are many types of bibliographies and the leading bibliographies differ slightly in the names they assign to its various branches they are primarily number 1 uh, annotated bibliography a brief summary of content along with a short analysis or evaluation are given here now current bibliography recently published or currently recorded material now retrospective bibliography the documents or the articles published in previous years serial bibliography range from weekly annual basis and informs on the updates of book and research article titles then national bibliography a list of documents and sources published in a particular country and are produced in the national or local language of a country then international bibliography a list of works sources publications manuals books notes articles and websites collected from the worldwide sources then subject bibliography a list of works and sources relates to a specific subject then period bibliography a list of works and publications produced within a specific period range now analytical bibliography it refers to the collection of sources and material for the purpose of critical study and evaluation and refers to the following categories number 1 descriptive or physical bibliography a list of detailed facts for a book analysis by listing its size format binding and publication 
details that is called descriptive bibliography then historical bibliography a list of contextual factors related to the production of a book that is printing details publishing book selling and binding etc third textual bibliography a list of literary materials concerned with identification and editing of transcription errors uh, from manuals manuscripts uh, transcripts scribes and inscriptions fourth one enumerative that is systematic bibliography a list of the list of books according to some system common theme or reference plan and includes information on by author by subject or by date contrary to a descriptive style an enumerative one only provides minute details on books and sources now what is the importance and use of this bibliographies a mandatory requirement of copyright laws this is very important we have to understand uh, this is requirement of copyright laws and academic conventions is that whenever a research paper is written there should be a section at the end of it where you acknowledge the sources used so bibliography means listing all the sources which you have consulted while writing your essay or the research article now the sources may be in the form of printed and online books websites web documents web blogs newspaper articles journals podcasts wikipedias unpublished material maps etc now citation ensures that the information contained in the research paper is based on logic truth and facts now absence of references or bibliography indicates that the paper may be a piece of plagiarism plagiarism means copying from somebody's work standard citation styles used in bibliographies there are various formats used in the creation of bibliographies such as the apa the american psychological association mla modern language association of america chicago manual of style then council of biology editors cbe so so the apa style of referencing is common in the papers written on topics of social sciences mla style is used in field of humanities and cbe is a popular citation style in the natural sciences now apo apa bibliography format definition and examples let's see here generally commonly used this one apa style referred by american psychological association uses both in text citations and a list of references to document the sources this style is used in social sciences for example american psychological association here your then publication manual of the american psychological association whatever sixth edition and the place may be washington dc or author like this it is written follow this format while citing book with one author using apa style first what you will write author includes author's last name and only the initials of the first name then secondly year year of publication will be included in parenthesis then title title should be in uh, italics and only the first word of title should be capitalized or any proper noun fourth one place of publication mention city name followed by country name separated by a comma then publisher include the name of publisher then so let's see the examples here author's last name then initials year in the bracket full stop then title that should be in italicized then place of publication then publisher's name like here given uh, spielberg comma s dot 2010 creative writing boston ma bedford st martins like that you have to write let's see another example here guha com comma b full stop year in the brackets and then full stop documentation and information services techniques and system that's the title second edition calcutta the world press like it, this is the apa style now mla bibliography is used in english and humanities you can easily find the mla citation from books title page and copyright page then follow this format while citing book with one author author last name should come before the first name title should be in full and it should be capitalized and italicized then publisher use a full name of publisher then date use most recent publication date mentioned in the book's copyright page 
So let's see the example here. Author's last name, then first name, then title, italicized, then publisher, date. Uh, here example is given Hall, Thomas, A. Court Cases, FT Press, 2010. Now standard bibliography format, let's see here. Bibliography format for a book. A standard bibliography for a book typically consists of the following information. Author, title, publisher, date of publication. Then bibliography format for a periodical and journal article. Author, article title, journal title, volume number, pages, then date of publication. Now bibliography, bibliography format for internet sources. Author, that is website, article title, publication information, version, date of publication, location, that is digital object identifier, DOI or URL you have to mention. So that's all for today's class. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. I'll come up with the next video in the next class. Thanks for your attention and time. Happy learning.